we will now install the Kubernetes infrastructure and we're having two nodes OTK Orchestrator and OTK Knode the first one will be used to install the Orchestrator or the software that manage our Kubernetes and Cloud and the next one would be uh, installed with the Kubernetes cluster itself meaning the the node the resources that, uh, that later on will be uh, used to implement the cloud application on top of so for these two nodes resources are the same with four CPU and 8 gigabyte of RAM let's go into the orchestrator first this is the orchestrator IP address this one the 10.0.2.50 is the IP address of the orchestrator We need to go into the Rancher website in order to install the Rancher Manager. It is the kind of the orchestrator or the Kubernetes manager in order to run, control, create, manipulate, and orchestrate. Um, the Kubernetes cluster so we need to install this one first you can choose your own preferred orchestration software in this uh, demo uh, I'm using Rancher and I choose one of the most easy one that's option A which would run a container uh, with the image needed to control the cluster copy this one paste that into this one and hit enter and because uh, I run this in this uh, VM before already so the image was loaded that's this one rancher image and uh, that's why it doesn't need to pull the image from the internet so it takes quite it's it's quite fast and once we hit that command the image or the container is created and this will run as the orchestrator or the kubernetes manager to manage our, our cluster so if we hit the local host or the IP address of this VM we can see that one window appeared We need to enter, yeah, to enter the IP address of the rancher server, which is 10.0.2.50. And we finished installing the rancher server or the orchestrator what we need to do next we need to add a cluster and uh, we are adding this one as the new cluster meaning it is also installed the needed items into 
our node to run as the Kubernetes cluster. So we choose the existing node, not the cloud existing cluster, but the existing uh, bare meter or VM node. Choose this one. And we name it and we choose uh, the needed parameter but just for the demo we don't need to change anything just just give the default values hit next and then uh, as uh, I'm having only one node to run the Kubernetes cluster so I need to hit the whole three uh, functionality to be installed into this node so I will hit copy and then I will hit paste into be careful not the the server's node but the node that will be installed with the Kubernetes cluster so the K node and then hit enter but as I installed this one beforehand already so I don't need to do that but once you hit that, all of the needed resources will be downloaded and then installed and then provisioned. And it would take about five minutes, depending on the internet speed. Then after that, the cluster will be ready for you to implement your own cloud applications you can choose to install your EPC, your eNodeB, other uh, telco cloud applications or you can choose to install your IT applications using the native cloud infrastructure. So that's it for the way I use to install my cloud infrastructure using Rancher and Kubernetes. Thank you.